what's going on what's going on you are tuned in to watch fest tv this is your girl plump and i'm back with another review video on you guessed it p valley aka Posse valley season one episode two and baby let me tell you i am hooked they got me hooked all right now the show opens up to a bdsm dream with Keyshawn and mercedes pretty much doing what mistresses do okay but before i get into it please don't forget to like share and subscribe comment down below hit the notification bell up top and let me know that you are tuned in but back to episode two okay i'm gonna go ahead and highlight the scenes that i thought were pretty much the important scenes okay now the show starts off opening up to a clouded bed with mercedes and Keyshawn, pretty much doing what mistresses do entertaining and Haley's on the side pretty much minding the business that pays her but diamond which is the security guard he he's pretty much telling her hey mind your business all right this has nothing to do with you keep it cute all right but then we're fast and fast forward when uh Haley was talking to uncle Clifford, now Uncle Clifford needs some ID. Now everyone knows when you start a new job, you need to present yourself with the proper ID. So now Uncle Clifford need that, all right? He needs the ID, but Haley is kind of hesitant because we at this point do not know who she really is. We don't know where she's running from, but she's running, all right? And Uncle Clifford pretty much is saying, hey, I don't run no shiesty business, so you're gonna have to tell me who you really are. But in the process, she lets out a load, right? She pretty much tells Uncle Cliff, it's a casino coming this way. I know the T. I want to mind my business when it comes to this. But Uncle Clifford is like, yo, if you can get the T, I need the T. So I'm going to hold on to this ID because I know this ain't who you say you are. So go ahead and get the T for me. Now let's fast forward backwards, all right? Haley is actually interested in a, a businessman who comes down to uh, Chuck Elisa to start up a casino. So pretty much gentrification at its best people all right they're moving in trying to come in start a casino in chuckalisa uncle clifford knew well had no idea that it was starting up so Haley pretty much found out through the businessman y'all that the casino was starting up and uncle clifford pretty much it ain't sitting well with him all right because the pink is on foreclosure the pink is very important to uncle clifford so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward to the scene with Lil Murder, honey, Little Murder plays the hell out of that role. He is great at that role, but Uncle Clifford ain't biting. He ain't biting the bait, all right? Lil Murder pretty much puts up some funds so that Mercedes can go ahead and dance to his song. But Uncle Clifford tells Lil Murder, listen, your song ain't good enough, my friend. It ain't an ass shaking something song. I'm gonna need some. Now, Lil Murder is pretty much upset because in the first episode, he actually paid out you know for mercedes to dance to his song but mercedes she's like listen i gotta i got musical morals okay i'm not about to shake my ass to this trash ass track all right give me something good so pretty much he lost that because his song didn't even get played but here it goes he starts to move in on uncle clifford but to me i feel like uncle cliff was kind of scared to make that move you know what i'm saying it's the south you know, it's a lot of talk already. He, he's scared to even make that move that way. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the scene with the brothers, okay, that was signing the lease for the casino. Now, obviously, it's an issue because it is a third brother, all right? And this is the part that blew my mind. The third brother happens to be the guy in the BDSM scene, all right? That is the younger brother who needs to sign a third portion of that contract in order to sell the Corbin property, all right? But he's not into that. That man is into generational wealth. He was left out of the wealth uh, for too long. He was like, look, I'm taking what's mine right now. He even tried to put businessman in on the T. But in all honesty, I don't remember businessman name. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what his name was if you do know, okay? But he's pretty much telling him, look, this is enough money for us all to go around. If you could get a leasing contract instead of trying to sell the property all together, this will benefit more so for us than anybody else. But he's not having it. Businessman is like, no, okay, I'm here to just execute this contract and that's about it. But Haley, all right pretty much lets him know listen okay you need to go ahead and take advantage because nobody else is looking out for you all right so now when he actually goes down to the property and he speaks to the brothers he realized that these brothers are the most racist motherfuckers you could ever find 
but then again he's there to pretty much execute these, this deal so the brothers have a problem it's a third brother who actually doesn't want to sign the contract all right he wants generational wealth all right so businessman decides you know what don't even worry about it i'm gonna go ahead i'll talk to the brother i'll get him to sign the contract because then when i'm done with him he'll see how beneficial this really is so now businessman goes down to the pink okay but when he goes down there he's not expecting a brother yes the brother is mixed pretty much and the brother ain't having it he doesn't want to sell he wants to lease but in the process he sees Haley. okay and you can actually see the instant connection that they have real talk it's like it, it, it really good acting okay but we're gonna go ahead and move on to mercedes i'm really feeling this character okay now if i had a girl crush it would really be her okay she plays the fuck out that role too all right but her story kind of it's, it's kind of sad because it's relatable in so many ways it's her she she's doing her hustle you know what i'm saying doing what she has to do in order to open up a studio pretty much lets her mother hold on to all of the money that she has pretty much worked for and her mother puts it into the church fund so now she goes to her mother and she's like hey i'm gonna need all the money back but the thing is her mother is one of those greedy bitches her mother pretty much makes her feel bad for what she do but wants all the change that comes out of it and it's horrible you know she actually has a daughter and i want to see where this story leads because again it's really relatable all right now the show ends i know i skipped out on a lot honey but if i stay on here i could talk for hours so it ends with Lil murder pretty much leaving his cd all right for uncle clifford they gonna hook up i know they gonna hook up all right comment down below let me know where you think this thing is gonna lead let me know who your favorite character is okay because i already got mine all right i got a couple of them actually don't forget to like share subscribe hit the notification bell up up top for the latest videos and stay tuned for the next one y'all have a good one